Hey guys, so today we are going to be jumping into the part two banner to the seventh year anniversary. It is the top legendary summon banner featuring Saiyan Saga Kaioken Goku and Great Ape Vegeta. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to mute this home screen uh, when I edit this video because of the fact that I can't have Chala Hedgehog playing the video or I'll get copyright claims. That's fun. Let's go ahead and accept the Pilaf's Trove gifts that I bought from the packs here. So let's see. All right, so we were able to get 63 tickets here, bunch of meat and key items. We got some potential orbs, uh, box space, skill orbs, and we got two again with the gold skill. Now I got four of these. I already used two of them. So yeah, pretty good. Uh, they're giving those out. I do think that silver skill orbs at, though are much rarer overall than the gold ones. So I wish they would have maybe given some, gold, some good silvers also, but whatever. All right, let's go ahead and check out this banner here. So this banner, again, without even looking at it, I'm just gonna assume it's the same as JP's and um, instantly just tell you guys not to summon on this banner, but let's go ahead and see. So we have Goku, we have Vegeta. Okay, well, I guess it's different. <laughs> okay, we got LR Angel Vegeta and we have LR God Goku. Huh, okay. We have this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, you, you, and that's, oh, okay, wait, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. yeah. Wow, they actually changed this banner pretty significantly for gold because in JP, first of all, this banner only had two LRs, the new Goku and the new Vegeta. Second of all, this banner was 12 featured uh, units on JP. So they not only reduced the amount of featured units, but they also gave us two other LRs. This is a very, very improved version of this banner as compared to JP. Do I still think it's worth summoning this banner? Probably not. But if you're a big Saiyan Saga fan, and this is something you've been waiting for for a long time, because I know Saiyan Saga has been neglected in this game, and you really want to summon on this banner, then by all means, I would say go for it. But um, at the very least, we do have rainbow tickets to use, right? So we, of course we have the tickets we just got from the packs, but then we are now also able to use the, what is it like super thank you tickets or something like this, whatever, whatever they're called, the rainbow tickets. So we have tickets we're able to use on this banner, but also we can use them potentially on the part one banners as well. I will tell you guys this right now, even with the improved lineup of this banner, I still highly recommend, highly recommend that you guys prioritize the Super Saiyan Gods and Super Saiyan 4 banners with your tickets because the banners are just way better still. Like this this banner could be upgraded as much as you want. They are never touching the quality of these two banners over here. So with that said, I don't need anything else on these banners. So I'm gonna go ahead and spend my tickets on this banner over here. We have 30 summons. This is just three free multis just for free. So I'll take that. Uh, we'll do two singles first because we're gonna have to end up doing four of the seven ticket ones anyway so we'll get these out of the way here and then uh yeah we'll go into the tickets that i was able to get from the packs and then we will jump into uh jump into the actual stone summons so something to keep in mind is that with four featured lrs and only 10 feature units in total you know any lrs we're gonna be pulling on this banner it's gonna be ridiculous <laughs> you know any lrs we're gonna be getting here it's gonna be actually raining LRs. All right, so let's see. I don't assume we're gonna get anything off of this single, so let's just go ahead and skip this. Yep. By skip, I mean not pay attention because you can't actually skip. All right, cool. All right, let's go ahead and jump into these rainbow ticket summons. Maybe the tickets are gonna come in clutch here. Krillin and Gohan. Okay, so far it doesn't look too good. Nothing so far. So yeah, 10 feet, because 10 featured is what you would see on a normal uh, Dokkan Fest LR banner, which we just saw with part one, right? The, the gods and the Super Saiyan 4 banners have 10 featured characters. Um, so it looks like what they did is they tried to... Okay, this doesn't look good either. Looks like what they tried to do is they tried to merge like the new age gold coin banner, like the legendary summon banners, with, which they started doing on um, JP and Global, starting with the Goku and Piccolo banner, right? Because if you guys remember, those banners, the Goku and Piccolo banner has 10 featured, and I think it's three LRs featured. So I guess they tried to sort of match the quality of that on this banner as well. Okay, this, these rainbow tickets really not coming, uh, coming through for me here, but <laughs> that's fine, I guess. All right, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. 
I mean, three three free multis basically accounts for like an extra 150 stones. Like, I okay, at least that Majum Cube is featured. I get that people really like these these tickets, right? And and I understand obviously it's just free stuff, right? But oh, Goku and Piccolo or Gohan and Piccolo. Um, I will say that I would just prefer more stones as opposed to tickets because think about this, right? These tickets basically equal 150 stones in total, but they could just simply give out 150 more stones and you'd be able to do whatever you want with those stones as opposed to being forced to use the stones as summons for these banners, right? That's essentially what, what these tickets are, right? They're forcing you to use stones in a certain way while not giving you stones directly. So, was that Vegeta featured? I guess he was, damn it. All right, well, the rainbow tickets pro proved useless. <laughs> Let's go over to the tickets I got from the shop and let's use these. Uh, this is going to be nine multis worth of seven uh, unit summons, I guess, right? All right, we got an Awadida potential pull here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Again, it's pretty high chances to pull an LR here, so I'm pretty surprised we haven't gotten one yet. All right, that Goku's featured. Goku's actually still pretty solid. He's not crazy good, but he, he, he's okay. All right, Vegeta, 18, and Chouts. You want to fuse for me? Okay, cool. Super Vegito. Um, so obviously Kaioken Goku is who I'm trying to get, right? I, I like Vegeta and Kaioken Goku, but in terms of their execution on which character better, e easily Kaioken Goku. And then, oh God, okay, he's not even featured. And then in terms of who's cooler, I would also just say Kaioken Goku, right? <laughs> it's just like not even close. Uh, the Sprite looks so cool. Okay, he's featured as well, double LR multi. Um, the Sprite, I, like, I really like the new Sprite that they gave him. I think his animations are just better. Um, and I'm just, I'm just really not a big fan of the grade eight mechanic. I've, I've never really been a big fan of the grade eight mechanic. It's another Frisian? Wow, okay. Yeah, again, like I said, we're gonna be pulling a lot of LRs in this video. Um, I think what they should have done for the Grade 8 Vegeta is they should have just made his Grade 8 transformation a normal transformation, right? And I feel like that's something that they should do moving forward for a lot of these, like, prominent giant characters. And by prominent giant characters, I'm talking about, like, you know, Herutagarn or Grade 8 Baby. Characters that spend a lot of time fighting. Characters that spend a lot of time fighting in their giant forms. Like... Potentially, when we get a Ma Junior, you can give us like a, a Ma Junior Dokkan Fest who transforms into giant Ma Junior. Um, potentially, stuff from Dragon Ball Super, which I'm not going to spoil as well. But um, the, the giant mechanic at this point is just, it's so outdated and it's just, it doesn't feel fun to use, in my opinion. So I, I'm just not I'm really a big fan of that. Um, but overall, I think Great Vegeta is still cool. Um, at this point, after seven years of playing this game, pretty much, the way that I view these characters is pretty much, as long as their animations are cool and they don't really suck like a lot, then I'm just fine with how they are, right? I, I, I don't really care at this point how good these characters are. As long as they're fun, they look cool, and they're, you know, not like they're not like unusably bad, then I generally am fine with everything, <laughs> really, really, really in this game. So, I even though Grady Vegeta definitely isn't, you know, top of the line, you know, I would say he's, he could be way better. I am fine with how he is, like, whatever. He, he's cool, he's fun. Wish the Grady transformation was better. Wish he was a little bit better in general, but overall, I think I'm still going to enjoy using him. How can Goku is just a completely different animal, right? Okay, we got no water out here. Hopefully, give me a double screen crack, maybe. Would like to pull one of the two, please. Okay, bye, guys. Something else, please. No, okay. Let's just zip through this one. Of course. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I was saying, Kaioken Goku is just ridiculous. And it's weird because I don't... Okay, refusing. I don't really understand like how you go from making one of the two units like so good versus like just good, right? It's, it's, the, the, the difference is so massive. It's like not even funny. All right, LR Cell, thank you. We've pulled a lot of unfeatured LRs in this uh, video so far. I would like to start pulling some featured LRs. We haven't even, okay. There we go, we did it. The global exclusive tickets, I will take that. Um, 
Did we? I think we did pull. I can't remember. I think we did pull one of the part one LRs off of the um, Pilaf's Trove tickets as well, I think. All right, who's this going to be? Vegeta or Goku? It is Goku. All right, nice. There we go. STR, LR, Kaioken, Goku. Nice to see him. And there's Vegeta, but the wrong one. All right, cool. Let's lock him up real quick. So we did pull one off the tickets. We got one more ticket summon left, and then we're going to jump into the stones. All right, we got Goten and Tien, the classic duo. Um, But yeah, I mean, with the changes to this banner, I would say... Again, if you really like the Saiyan Saga, which I understand, right? It's just the fact that these guys aren't even like a Dokkan Fest. It's just like a normal LR banner. Like, what are they doing? But if you really like the Saiyan Saga and you just want to summon, then go for it. I am completely understanding of people who want to do that. Uh, I'm just telling you that you are most likely better off using your stones on the part one banners or just simply waiting um for the worldwide celebration to drop at the end of august so we are literally just about a month away from that dropping oh we're getting a long coming out because this is an lr we also get krillin 18 so let's see all right vegeta there's sorbet fake out it's not the last slot mighty mask okay, unfeatured like it's a lot of unfeatured lrs so far in this video i'll tell you anything else no. Okay. I would like to try and pull Vegeta in this video so that we can uh, go ahead and do the 55% showcases and record that and get it over with. Another fusion. Yeah, like I said, a lot of LRs incoming here. Surprised we've got, not gotten the Vegeta blue yet. <laughs> All right. I would be very, very happy to get this Vegeta here. Let's see. Okay, anything? Yakon. Yamcha. Damn, it's Vegeta Angel. All right, so I guess I should have specified what Vegeta I wanted. So it seems like the last LR to get is going to be the Vegeta. We've gotten the Goku, we've gotten the Angel Vegeta, and we've gotten God Goku, the three featured LRs. So This is probably nothing. Yep. Yep. All right, double screen crack maybe? Okay. I would love to see a Whis or a Zeno or another Goku Black Rift, something. Just Tien. Okay. Okay. Fine. I will admit that I did have really insane luck in part one. So if I do end up getting pretty unlucky in you know, for part two for this banner, I will not be surprised. <laughs> I would not, not be surprised. Typically, the way this game works is you get really lucky, and then you get really unlucky, and then you get really lucky, and then you get really unlucky. And it sort of seesaws back and forth like that for a while, right? Sometimes you have streaks, too. Sometimes you get unlucky for, like, five banners in a row, and then you get lucky for, like, you know, two banners in a row, and you go back and forth. Like it's, sometimes it happens like that as well, so we'll, we'll see. God animation, I'm assuming it's just three on feature. We'll see. Appreciate Grade 8 Vegeta. Come on. Tech Grade 8 Vegeta. So far, nothing. Okay, so we're all gonna be at the end here. Alright, Spirit Bomb Goku. Okay. Okay, I mean, yeah, they're all three unfeatured. Great. Nice. <laughs> I hate god animations. They just remove them. Alright, something good. Okay, go to the trunks. I'll take that. Zeno? Go Zeno. Alright. We didn't get an Awadi to either, so this could, again, be a three unfeatured. God animation? No, don't do it. No. No. <laughs> no. It's going to be three unfeatured. We're about to get three unfeatured multis twice in a row. Is that really what we're going to do here? Come on. Come on. Are you kidding me? It's so unlucky. All right. Great, Vegeta. Let's go, please. Just Krillin, just Krillin, okay. Again, we didn't get a Wadida. Could be three unfeatured. Don't give me gut, don't you dare, okay. Screen crack. No. All right. I have a bad feeling about this one. Yeah. 
Oh, he's featured. Okay, so it's not a feat. It's not three. Didn't we just pull him earlier? He's featured though, right? And Pycon. All right, well, we did pull two featured, I guess. Uh, just not the Vegeta we want. Beerus. Uh, hmm. Don't do it. Okay. All right, we might speed things up a bit here. My goal is just going to be to grab one Vegeta and get out. So we'll just go until we get Vegeta, maybe. I don't know. Who knows how long it's going to take. Uh, Beerus and Vegeta, okay. Okay, refusing. That's, was that the fourth Super Vegeta? We haven't gotten a Vegeta Blue yet. It doesn't actually change anything. It's just, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's, it feels better seeing Vegeta Blue. All right, come on, Grade A Vegeta Tech. Let's, let's go. Let's see him. Damn it. Thank you, Dokkan, for putting him on the banner. I appreciate it. Yeah, okay, great. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Goku Black Earth, go. Damn it. Beerus again. Yeah, and that could have been it. We could have gotten great Vegeta there. Could have ended the video. Could have been a pretty good video, too. I mean, keep in mind, because we've done a lot. Like, we've done more summons than you think. Like, we started with, what, like 5,080 stones or something like that? We did a lot of ticket summons. We're down to... We basically used 500 stones in this video, but... We use a lot of tickets. <laughs> we used almost 100 tickets, which is basically 50, which is basically 500 stones, basically, right? So we're pretty much at a thousand stones used in this video with one Kyle can Goku. That is not horrible, but it's not good. All right, come on, come on. I just want to be able to work. Okay, the reason why I want this Vegeta is because number one, I want to be able to record the 55% showcase. And then number two, I want to be able to start link leveling him. That, that's the whole point. <laughs> Come on. Oh my God. I, I hate like these. These are the types of multis where I really, 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 really wish we had a skip button. Because it's like we already know we're getting nothing here. Right, Chow Tzu and Piccolo is not going to give me something good. So, let me skip, please. Please? Oh, good. We got Kid Goku and Rill, though. Awesome. All right, Trunks and Goten. Okay, step one achieved. We can actually potentially get something here. Okay, we got a fusion. All right, it's Super Vegito number five. <laughs> Vegito Blue just does not exist for some reason. All right, let's see. What do we get? Please be great at Vegeta. Come on. Great at Vegeta? It's going to be unfeatured. Yeah, it's unfeatured. Great. Literally just pulled them. Great. Oh, boy. It's going to be one of these banners. I can... It, it's one of these banners. It's one of these. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I really want to skip. I want to skip this so bad. Let me skip these. Let me skip the animation. Why? <laughs> Why not to watch this? I have to watch like every unit slowly drizzle down. Like this is so agonizing. All right. What do we got next? Oh, we got 17 and 18 of Vegeta. Okay, let's go. Fuse. Okay, we didn't fuse, but we did get an Awadi Da. So it is featured, guaranteed, or an LR. I'm okay with the God animation right here. Okay, of course not. Well, the one time I want one of the God animations, we don't get it. All right, come on. Let's go. This is it. <laughs> hey, it actually was. Okay. Nice. All right. Well, there he is. Uh, okay. I actually didn't think it was going to be him at all, but nice. We'll take that. And with that, we have one copy of each. How can Goku and Great Ape Vegeta? What? How many stones was that? About 800 stones plus the tickets that we used. So, again, definitely not good, but it could have been way worse. So, 
If you guys decided to summon on this banner, let me know down below how you did. Um, if you guys decided to use your rainbow tickets on this banner or the part one banners, let me know how you did on those. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you all in the next one.